Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips. Today is Wednesday, it's August 17th already, if you can believe it, of 2022, and we've got lots to talk about. Princess has a big announcement that they made late yesterday. There is also um, river cruising updates that I've got for you, some actual itinerary changes, what's going on with the Emerald Princess engine problems that I told you about, and lots of other things. And so I wanna start off though with Princess's big announcement. So late yesterday, Princess made the big announcement that they are going to partner. They made a deal with Trackhouse Racing to sponsor a NASCAR car, if you can believe it. So they are going to sponsor, sponsor driver Daniel Suarez, I hope I'm saying his name right, in the NASCAR Cup Series. So Princess will be the primary sponsor on Suarez's number 99 Chevrolet Camaro at the Watkins Glen International Race in New York. And then um, that's on August 21st of this year and at Homestead Miami Florida Speedway on October 23rd of this year and I thought it was kind of interesting the announcement that the president of Princess John Paget made now um, he seems to have like a lot of really interesting um, interest in fast cars and I'll tell you why I think that in a minute but maybe I understand a little bit why they're doing this so he says we are proud to partner with Trackhouse Racing and enter the NASCAR world Trackhouse has one of the has to be has been one of the most exciting and interesting teams and then they go on to say we look forward to showing NASCAR fans the exceptional vacations Princess Cruises offers. You know, to me, it sounds a little bit like a good excuse um, to get into NASCAR. I think he probably really enjoys that. And the reason that I thought, um, and you know what, it might work. It might get the Princess brand out there a little bit more and entice some NASCAR fans to go ahead and book a cr Princess Cruise. But at the same time, it reminded me that back in June, Princess announced that they were having that giveaway, um, that sweepstakes that they were doing for a Porsche car. And so um, that was announced on June 13th. So I wanted to remind all of you about it in case you have not entered for that car yet. Now I haven't entered, what would I do with a race car? Um, I already drive too fast. <laughs> so I can't have anything that goes faster than what I've got. And so anyway, um, I wanted to tell you it's a sweepstakes and it goes from June 13th through November 30th of 2022, just this year. And the winner gets to have a one of a kind customized all electric Porsche Taycan. And it actually is going to have the Princess Sea Witch on it, like um, is on the um, hull of her ships. And so um, I wanted to make sure that y'all know how to enter that sweepstakes. So you can do it um, by sailing with Princess between June and November of 2022. You get an entry for that, getting ocean ready between June and November for any future voyage. That's worth an entry. Buying a medallion class accessory pre-cruise between June and November. Making a medallion pay shoreside purchase Purchase during a cruise um, June to November of 2022. Purchasing Princess Premier add-on on a cruise that goes from June through November of 2022. That gets you an entry. And then you can do one entry if you'd like and you go to www.princess.com and then you do a forward slash for Taycan sweepstakes and that's T-A-Y-C-A-N and then the word sweepstakes. And then finally you can register at any Porsche Club of America event between June and November. So I just thought I would bring you up to date on that. I know that every once in a while we wonder what's going on with the management team at Princess on some things, and I think they're looking at NASCAR an awful lot. So, and I don't mean that mean, I just mean... Uh, they need to stay focused. Anyway, the next thing that I wanted um, to let everybody know, and I don't mean that mean at all about them, I just... Um, I think that a lot of you um, probably know what I mean, and I just mean you know, cruising is cruising. So anyway, we've got Jane and she is on the Emerald Princess right now. And we first received trouble, word of trouble um, with the engines on the Emerald Princess. I think it was on Sunday afternoon, maybe. And this is Wednesday. And um, so she says they are on the Emerald right now. And this report she um, gave yesterday, she said there was an engineering problem that resulted them arriving in Cobb, Ireland, three hours late. Their excursion to the Waterford Crystal Factory was canceled, which was disappointing, but 
later in the day the excursions went just as planned for later they since they had an overnight in Cobb the problem has been solved and they are back on the water as of yesterday on their way to um, Belfast Northern Ireland for tomorrow's business she said visit she said no announcement from the cap captain as to if the problem was solved but assume it has been solved as we are on our way and so I just wanted to let you know that it sounds like the Emerald Princess is off and running again and any problems that she was having are solved. So um, has, if anyone here is sailing on the Island Princess, we would love to hear from you. We heard um, that she was having engine trouble as well, but I have not heard any updates on that. So if we could have an update, if you just have a minute, we would really appreciate it. And if not, tell us when you get home, like how the ship was when you left and <laughs> when you disembarked. So. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about river cruising. Now river cruising has come up a lot more with the drought that is going on in Europe. There's a it, the drought is actually more widespread than just Europe, but that is where it is having the largest impact on river cruising. I mentioned this um, like about a month ago. I um, would really like to pick a couple of river cruises for us to do with group cruises for anyone who would like to go, but I am really just holding my breath and not doing that yet because I do realize that there is a drought in Europe. And so we've got a couple of updates, actually three updates from all of you, and I really do appreciate it very much. So um, first of all, this is um, from Eric. He's a Let's Go family member. And this is for the first sailing on the Norwegian Prima out of Amsterdam. And so he was so kind to actually send us what the itinerary changes are. And I thought I would share that with you a little bit because it will give you, I think, a really good window to what's going on on some of these cruises there. And I realize that um, the Norwegian Prima is not a river cruise boat. I know that. And I know that she was not going to sail on the rivers. But if you are... Um, um, not familiar with it, the water levels that are going on, um, like in the Netherlands, and which is part of the drought um, area of Europe, there with Rotterdam and with Amsterdam, that whole area is being affected by this. So that's why I thought this would be valuable for you. So first of all, um, they were originally supposed to be leaving Amsterdam on Saturday at 4 p.m. and now they're going to stay overnight in Amsterdam and leave the next morning really early at 3.30 a.m. And so Sunday, instead of having a sea day, they'll leave at 3.30 a.m. and head right down to Hamburg. So then on Monday, they were supposed to be in Hamburg from um, 7 a.m. until 11 p.m. And now they'll get to be there from 6.30 a.m. until 11 p.m. So they basically just missed part of a sea day. And then um, they're going to go to Varnemunde, if I'm saying that right, in Germany. And um, Poland is planned, and then they'll have a sea day, and then Tallinn, Estonia. Now, they were supposed to have an overnight in Stockholm after that, and this overnight in Stockholm has been canceled. So they'll have one day in Stockholm, which will be from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., and then they are going to go to Visby, Sweden. Um, and that's from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. And so if you are going to go to Visby, Sweden, I'd tell you two things. Um, um, number one, they have really cool rocks there. So if you get the chance to look at the rocks, um, I've only been down by the water, uh, look at the rocks. They're very, very cool, really cool rocks. And the other thing is, is if you are at the cruise port there, they do have a shuttle into town. Thought that might be helpful for you. Then they've got a sea day and then they're um, over to Copenhagen the end of the cruise. And so it's not a huge, huge impact, but it is enough of an impact that they feel like they are not going to be able to do their overnight in Stockholm. So I very much appreciate that update. So thank you very much, Eric. And then um, our Let's Go family member, Jan, said that their cousin finished their Danube um, Rhine River tour today, which would have been yesterday. So um, on Tuesday, they got done with that and they had to change boats twice. So as I mentioned yesterday, if the river levels are too low and you come to a lock and there's not enough water to move it to move, then they move you to like they have a ship on the other side of the lock and then they move you around and you get on that different boat. So they had to do that twice to the um, due to the um, water levels there. And I'm hearing that that is more and more common. Now, um, our Let's Go family member, Amy, she has done so much cruising. I very much admire her and I'm a little envious of all the amazing places that she has been. But she said that... Um, she says, we have only had a problem with low water levels once about five years ago on the Danube, and we did have to do a ship swap halfway through the cruise. 
Our last river cruise, which was in southern France last year, um, was in the fall, and there were no problems with the water levels there. She said, I would encourage people to try the American Queen voyages in this country for river cruises. We tried them this year for the first time and absolutely loved it. And I really appreciate her saying that because if you missed my video yesterday, I talked all about the new um, couple of cruises that American Queen voyages has have added. So they are they do cruises in other other places as well but they are very much known for their cruises on the mighty Mississippi and um, if you have never been on the Mississippi River you know what it is an amazing experience the Mississippi has so much history and is so beautiful that um, I would highly recommend that to anyone I have not done it on American Queen voyages I have only done it um, when I was still before I was married with my um, family we did I think it was Minneapolis to Memphis I want to say but um, anyway it is just beautiful and so I am with Amy I highly recommend that but take a look I just listened to my video from yesterday because I tell you um, they're going to go clear from um, like Minneapolis clear over to Pittsburgh and it's going to be amazing so look at that now I just could not resist talking about our Let's Go family uh, member Larry so they are going to be I want to say August 23rd they're going to be embarking there in Southampton on their cruise of the British Isles but they are in Paris right now and I just love Paris I to me Paris is the most beautiful city in the world I have a hard time deciding if I like Paris or Rome better um, I like to say that in Paris the light is pink as they say Say, but in Rome the light is gold so anyway I am really envious he is there he said that everything went really smoothly at Charles de Gaulle Airport they were able to get their luggage quickly no holds up holdups whatsoever um, on their way to the hotel they got to drive by the Arc de Triomphe and they are staying at a hotel over by um, the Eiffel Tower and I will find that name for you because um, it's like a, a boutique hotel he said it's beautiful they have a window that faces the Eiffel Tower, and so when it lights up at night and twinkles, you get to see it. And so I just want to learn to know that we're thinking about him, and I am really excited. I just want you to know that when you all share your travel experiences in the comments or you send me an email, I just enjoy it with you. My heart just goes right along to wherever you are, and I love hearing about your adventures. I love hearing about the beautiful things you see. So thank you for taking all of us along. I think that so many others here um, agree and they do the same thing with us. Now um, I've been you know I talked about Carnival also yesterday and there's a couple of things I want to tell you about that. One is there is the announcement out today that the Mardi Gras has um, a roller coaster on it and I have not been on the Mardi Gras yet but the celebration the new ship that is coming out for um, Carnival is going to have a roller coaster on it as well. It's called Bolt, B-O-L-T, Ultimate Sea Coaster, and um, it says, it happens to be the first ever roller coaster at sea, um, well, the Bolt was. The first Bolt, which happens to be the first ever roller coaster at sea, is currently on the Mardi Gras, and it's an electric, all-electric roller coaster that has a two-person car that travels up to 40 miles an hour on an 800-foot track with multiple drops. So I thought that sounded like a lot of fun. The Carnival Celebration is going to start cruising November 21st. Um, that's the inaugural cruise, and then she's going to offer year-round seven-day Caribbean cruises out of um, Miami and so if you want to get on that ship you should take a look at it because I think it sounds like a lot of fun and the other thing that I thought was really interesting with that is you if you are thinking a little bit I know that we have a lot of let's go family members who pick up carnival cruises as well and I very much appreciated the comments that you all took to the time to make yesterday under that video because you who cruise on Princess also commented on some um, carnival cruises that you have taken and really enjoyed and maybe a little bit of what the differences were and it was very informative to me and so I appreciate you doing that. So if any of you are at all interested, um, it is definitely worth reading the comments under the video yesterday and one of the things that you know I think we often forget is like where we live right Right here of course it's closer for us to drive to Los Angeles that's our closest port to cruise from but a lot of you live in places that it's really handy and I also mentioned yesterday how many different ports Carnival sails from and so you might be able to pick up a really fun cruise and it might be very accessible for you 
And um, I don't think that it probably, um, even if you don't always want to um, cruise Carnival, I think that it's definitely a really good option out there just to get the chance to cruise a little bit more if you would like to or go somewhere close by. So don't um, leave any stone unturned when it comes to going on a cruise and having a fun time. Now, the last thing that I want to talk to you about is, you know, I have mentioned to you, and I'm going to talk about it more here in just a second, the Total Eclipse Cruise that we are doing the group cruise for on the Discovery Princess. It set sail on April 3rd of 2024. Well, I wanted to tell you that both Ponnet and Smithsonian are adding um, an expedition cruises for the 2023 solar eclipse. Now, I am very much aware that the price point is very different for these kinds of cruises, but I wanted to make you aware of them because I know that we have people here from all over the world and um, lots of different um, interests. And so I just wanted to let you know that um, Ponnet and Smithsonian Journeys have added a special 16-day sailing from Indonesia to Australia time to the total eclipse of the sun that will take place on April 20th of 2023. And it says, um, so they're going to the trip um, aboard. It's, the ship is called the Le La Perouse. I'm probably um, just not saying that right. Begins in Bali, Indonesia on April 9th of 2023. And they have a, just really a very amazing itinerary that goes with that. It says that that journey, um, that 16-day journey, um, begins sailing rates begin at $20,480 per person. And so if you have that in your budget and you um, can travel and go see that, like, I think you should. I can't think of why you wouldn't want to. But at the same time, if that's not in your budget or you don't have that time to go that far, you really might want to consider coming with us on the group cruise because it is really actually very handy. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun and really just very extraordinary to view the um, total solar eclipse there in Mazatlan. And I believe, if I remember correctly, Gordon told me that the total solar eclipse on the day that we are in Mazatlan is around noon. And if I remember correctly, he told me it's about two minutes long that you have that total solar eclipse. I could be wrong, so don't hold me to it, but I think that's what he told me. And so, um, and the whole day in Mazatlan, I want to say, is like eight to five or eight to six, something like that. And so there will still be plenty of time to do other things. Um, you can either go do something and get back on the ship or view the eclipse from Mazatlan. Um, we are just looking at all the options and we'll think think of something fun to do. But I just wanted to let you know that that's an option. And if you want to come with us, you can go ahead and book the cruise um, with me. I, I would love that actually, and I would appreciate that. But at the same time, if you have already booked it separately, but you would like to be included, because um, I'm really trying to line up some really very worthwhile events for us, um, as well as just seeing each other and visiting and having a nice time together. And so if you want to do that, just email me your booking confirmation information and I will um, try to pull it into our group. What that means is it takes your booking and makes it part of our group. And I will look and make sure I'll talk to you about it. I'll give you my phone number and uh, make sure that you don't lose any perks that you would have um, being pulled into our group. But the nice thing about being a part of the group is then as I try to reserve group space, they let you reserve it for how many people are in your group. And so I can't reserve it for 20 people and have 100 show up. And so um, that's just the thing that I'm worried about because... Um, this is really funny. I just I just love all of you, and it would make me really sad to say that I'm sorry we don't have time space at dinner, we don't have space in our room, okay? Why do I cry? Um, so anyway, that's just the things that I'm thinking about. You can um, just send me an email if you've got questions, but I've started worrying about that a little bit, and I don't, um, I don't want to worry about that. And so that option is out there. Um, if you're not in our group, we can still visit on the ship, and it'll still be lovely to see you. But I just um, wanted to put that out there so that... Um, you have that information if you want it, okay? But I'm really excited. And if you haven't um, looked up about our group cruise yet, it goes, it's round trip out of Los Angeles. Like I said, it's April 3rd, it's 10 days, and it stops, it's got an overnight in Cabo San Lucas, and then it goes to uh, Mazatlan, and then Puerto Vallarta, and then down to Manzanillo, and then back up with some CDs in there. So um, I'm just really excited about it. And so if you've got any questions, um, put them down below, send me an email. 
And if you haven't subscribed yet, would you please subscribe to our channel? And um, I'm really trying to like kick it up a notch here and make it the kind of channel that more people will want to watch and thoroughly enjoy. I really try to do my best. So if you have any suggestions on any news that you would like me to cover or any cruise information you would like to co me to cover that I haven't been, I would really appreciate hearing from you and tell your um, family and friends about us because I feel like the more people we get, um, the greater um, our our um, experience will be and that we'll have more people to contribute and it'll just be um, even better. So thank you. And if you appreciate these videos, would you please give this one a thumbs up? I'll be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>